Hello, Father James Kubicki of the Apostleship of Prayer here on the day after Christmas, the Feast of St. Stephen. Here's something Pope Francis said about this feast. The liturgy extends the solemnity of Christmas for eight days, a time of joy for the entire people of God. And on this second day of the octave, the Feast of St. Stephen, the first martyr of the church, is inserted into the joy of Christmas. The book of the Acts of the Apostles presents him to us as a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, chosen with six others for the service of widows and the poor in the first community of Jerusalem. And it tells us about his martyrdom when, after a fiery dispute that aroused the anger of the members of the Sanhedrin, he was dragged outside the city walls and stoned. Stephen dies like Jesus, asking pardon for those who killed him. In the joyful atmosphere of Christmas, this commemoration may seem out of place. For Christmas is the celebration of life, and it fills us with sentiments of serenity and peace. Why disturb the charm with the memory of such atrocious violence? In reality, from the perspective of faith, the Feast of St. Stephen is in full harmony with the deeper meaning of Christmas. The remembrance of the first martyr immediately dispels a false image of Christmas, the fairy tale, sugar-coated image, which is not in the gospel. The liturgy brings us back to the authentic meaning of the incarnation by linking Bethlehem to Calvary and by reminding us that the divine salvation involved the battle against sin. It passes through the narrow door of the cross.